Hey guys, this is Sumit from Backbench Coder. Okay, so today we will be designing the navbar. This navbar right here. So it will consist only three elements: about, resume, and projects. And about is default. So the navbar functionality will be whenever I click uh, element from here, it will be shown in the you know active element, and whatever it is right now, it will be shown in this little section. Okay, so let's do step by step. First, first make a, a simple navbar. Okay, so guys, before I dive into the code, you can if you see the console, there is a little wording that says HDF attribute you know, requires a valid value and all. So either you can give a link, or if you want to leave it right here, just you know uh, fill it with a hash. This way you will not get the warning. Okay. So let's design the navbar component. I'll create a file under components folder which is navbar.js. And guys, I will use a little extension which will give me the basic boilerplate of a functional component. So name of the extension is. Um, this javascript ESC code snippets and it just speeds up the process nothing else okay so yeah i'll use rsc and this will give me a react stateless component which is basically react functional component with no state and then yeah look at this how fast it is it give me a function name navbar which is same as the file name and this also export the component in default mode and is import react okay so this is pretty much what we need so now let's make the navbar okay first of all i will give it a class name which is navbar okay then just make an element for the active element i will give this class name is active and guys i am using emit here for writing apc in html code and here by default let's say what uh, about me okay about and then i will create the little section which is let's say class name is navbar and i will be using bem naming convention so navbar items okay and then inside it the navbar item which is deep dot navbar oops navbar item and then I want three of it guys um, probably you are thinking about we need only two items and let me tell you why you need three okay so so at first we will have three items but based on some condition we will show only two items okay anyway let's do what what we need let's say first of all about and then something called your projects uh, before projects let's say call resume and then your projects okay and guys let's give it a class name which is navbar active just maintain the consistency so now we need to import this navbar component in app.js so what do we need under this main component we need navbar Okay, just comment it out for more readability and then under this navbar and just import the navbar. Okay, so again, guys, I am using an extension called auto import, and what it does basically you just write the component navbar and it will find your component in the project directory and it will import automatically. And you can see here it, it says auto import from components slash navbar, and it is very handy, guys right like you don't want to waste your time on this components from you know some some of the directories and then there are some errors and you then you know debugging that error and that's a hell lot of unnecessary debugging and that's all so that's why i prefer so you know auto import it and let's see this 
navbar is auto imported from components and in case if you don't have this extension you can always uh, just manually import the component anyway the snapbar let's see okay okay so now we have the elements let's style this so we need index.css right here so just keep it right here okay so now just comment it out for navbar section okay so following styles will be for navbar okay so select the navbar here anyway so what i want i want these elements to be in row okay so we can use display flex and by default the direction is rows so we don't need to do anything let's just display flex okay df is display flex again df means display flex in image so yeah this is always handy okay display flex and what i want i want this navbar active element to be highlighted okay so dot navbar active element okay okay so this navbar active which is talking about this element okay so yeah okay so how can i highlight this first of all increase the font which is 2rem will be better and then what i want i want to be bold which is font to 700 and then i want a light color oops so light color which is has 3543584358 what the color and then i need a border bottom which is the green of the background and 4 pixel solid and the green color is this 00f260 okay so let's see okay this is cool now let's design this section here uh, let's select this navbar items okay so navbar items already display flex and what i want i want this navbar item and under this navbar item okay anyway we first give it a margin on both sides or just give it a margin right of 20 pixel okay and then text decoration i don't want anything the color is same as this one 354358 okay and then let's increase the font size which should be 1.2 uh, 1.3 let it be 1.3 and then cards are sudi pointer okay so right now i think we have got okay this looks beautiful and now just give it a hover state so on hover i want the color change to the background color so let's do that which is dot napper items item on hover state so to give it a gradient color i need to use it is background color and, and it should be something like webkit linear gradient okay and just the gradient we have which is this one for the background and just all right okay in this one and now it will not work until you give some other properties which is background cliff ground oops background clip which is text 
and then with kit background clip we should also text and now it should work okay so on hover nope there's no color change uh, I think I need webkit text fill webkit text fill webkit text and nothing like that text fill color and I want it to transparent let's see hey what the heck uh, let's make it background yeah that's working fine okay so let's make the functionality so on clicking on resume it should be shown here on the active element and it should not show here and on clicking on projects the same functionality and about the same functionality so anyhow we need to keep track of what is active right now and based on that we will re-render this navbar component and perform a condition which will you know filter it out what is active here and only show two elements here so let's do this so we don't need index or css right now okay so anyhow we need to keep track of the state what is active so yeah we will use a state variable and how can we use a state variable so as we are using functional com component we will import a hook called use state and so what it does uh, it returns a state variable and a reducer and reducer is nothing but a function and you can only modify the state variable using the reducer uh, let me show you what I mean I'll just make use state okay and and it takes a parameter which should be the initial state and in our case let's make this about so the about should be the initial value of the of this variable okay so and what use state does as I said it returns a state variable and a redu reducer so each array this structure and just name this variable active and anyway not active it's active and then name the reducer as set active okay so we can only ch modify this active variable which is right here using set active okay so you will ask me why we should use state variable not a normal variable so since reactive state variable does change the whole component will be re-rendered so anyhow we need to figure out a way which will you know set the active state on clicking on these elements and in this section it will show the rest of the two elements okay so right now let's change it to active and guys again as we are implementing javascript inside jsx so i need to wrap it inside a brace so right now it should not change anything yeah act about and what i mean by initial value let's say you give it a something like uh who and it will show who okay so so change it to about okay so what do we want we want on clicking on these elements it will change the state okay so let's do that just set the on click property and in vs code i can use multi cursor so on click inside a brace as we will be executing javascript it will fire an anonymous function which will change the set active and guys this is the reducer by which we can change the active state active to something okay so on clicking on this element about it will change the state to about the active state to about okay on clicking on this resume it will change to resume and then on clicking on this it will change the projects okay now oh, let's see about resume okay it's changing it's changing fine projects projects resume and then about about okay so now based on 
the active state we need to re-render these components and only so which is not active here okay so what we can do we can wrap it inside a condition which is uh, if active is equal to is equal to if active is not equal to equal to about render this div okay so what I did so I'm checking what is the active variable here active state variable here if this is not equal to about and it should be a string about and based on this active element if this is not equal to about then only I will show this element here and you can use this and when there is no else statement uh, this is similar to like this so let me do active is not equal to equal to uh, again a string which is resume okay so based on this a ternary operator I want to show this element if this is not resume is not active and else what I want I want null so this is same as this ambersen okay so again now for this active is not equal to equal to projects I am using and here so again projects okay I don't want this one okay if I don't do mm, again this should be a string okay so what I am doing here so at first I am initializing the state with this about value okay I am rendering this active element dynamically and then right here on these elements I am performing a condition now based on the active element I will only show this element and then if we click any one of those it will change the state to the corresponding value okay so let's see what we have right now hey look at this so on resume it is resume on project this is projects on about this is about cool so in the next section I'll be designing a react router part okay so because this act active element is about I need to show the about component and then resume for this I need to show the resume component and projects I need to show the projects component and again guys I'll be posting all this code in my github repo and the link will be down in the description and guys if you like this video please give this video a like cause I am new to this YouTube and it really motivates me anyway thanks